the Shein Hate Explain. Shein is an online fast fashion retailer headquartered in Singapore. Founded in Nanjing, China in October 2008 as Zitco by entrepreneur Chris Zhu. Shein grew to become the world's largest fashion retailer as of 2022. The parent company is Rogit Business Pete Lead. Shein has over 10,000 employees. Chris was born in 1984 in Sangdong Province. He graduated from George Washington University. Originally, Sheen was called Sheenside. The website Sheenside.com was registered in March 2011, advertising itself as a worldwide leading wedding dress company. The company acquired its items from Guanzhou Wholesale Market, which is a central hub to many of the company's garments, manufacturers, and markets. In 2014, Romway, a Chinese e-commerce retailer, making it a fully integrated retailer, was bought by Shein. In 2015, they changed their name from Shein side to Shein, claiming that it needed a name that was simpler to remember and easy to find online. By 2016, Zoo gathered a team of 800 designers and prototype that manufactured Shein branded clothing. Known for selling inexpensive apparel, <clears throat> known for selling inexpensive apparel, Shein's success has been credited to its popularity among Generation Z consumers. The company was initially compared to that of a drop shipping business, as it was not involved in design and manufacturing, instead sourcing products from the wholesale clothing market and Juwanzu with a net worth of more than 3,000 suppliers as of 2022. Its low prices attract teenage internet shoppers with small budgets to post what they bought on social media. The company offers low prices to stimulate demand. With more spending, customers can be rewarded with more discounts, which are encouraged to be applied to their next shopping trip. They attract customers watching live streams, contests, shows to redeem points. Shein makes predictions on trends and produces items as quickly as three days after the identification of a trend. The addictive nature of the app, its low prices, get people to buy things they do not need. Due to the affordability of Shein, most clothes are not high quality and can lead people to dispose of them, exuberating the textile waste problem. Amid the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, it reportedly made $10 billion in revenue, making it the seventh consecutive year of more than 100% sales growth for the company. Shein was noted for being an early adapter of TikTok as promotional tool. Shein was noted for being an early adopter of TikTok as a promotional tool, and the firm's ability to advertise viral items boosted its popularity. TikTok trend of TikTok trend of bulk buying clothes from Shein showing them to their audience like a standardized haul video was a major success. On May 17th in 2021, the number of Shein app downloads surpassed those of Amazon. Shein was the second most popular shopping app globally in 2021 and the most downloaded app in May 2022. They also had a social media reality show co-hosted by Khloe Kardashian. According to Bloomberg Businessweek, Shein's business model has benefited from the China-U.S. trade war for the tax advantages. By November 2021, Shein grew from a company valued at $15 billion to $30 billion. In 2022, Shein generated $24 billion in revenue, a total almost as large as established retailers Zara and H&M. Shein has value at $100 billion after a funding round in April 2022. The UK released a documentary on Channel 4 called Inside the Shein Machine, where independent Chinese researchers were hired to monitor the manufacturing and packing process in China and in Europe through undercover cameras, and found that many were running informal factories set up in residential buildings, workers who were forced to pull 17-hour shifts to make hundreds of garments a day with a daily base salary of $20, which would be deducted $14 if they made any mistakes. In 2021, a public eye investigation found that staff across Six Sides and Guanzhou were working 75-hour weeks in breach of Chinese labor laws. In August 2021, Xi'an claimed on his website that his factories were certified by the International Organization for the Standardization and SA-8000. This was disputed and was considered to be breach of the United Kingdom's 2015 Modern Slavery Act. According to Reverter, Xi'an was also in violation of a similar anti-slavery law in Australia. 
In June 2023, the company faced backlash after international influencers towards and promoted its facilities in China. In August 2023, Shein received a temporary restraining order in the United States against its competitive rival, Timu, on a trademark infringement case. In 2018, the company was sued by Levo. In 2018, the company was sued by Levo Strauss and Co. for copying a trademarked jean stitching, which was settled out of court. In 2021, Air War International Limited, who were known for the Dark Martin boots, had a lawsuit which accused Shein and his sister company Wrongway of selling copies of their designs and calling them Martins at a cheaper price while using photos of authentic Dr. Martin's shoes and calling them Martins at a cheaper price while using photos of authentic Dr. Martin shoes to entice customers. In March 2021, Ralph Lauren filed a trademark and fragment on unfair competition lawsuit against Shein's parent company. In 2022, Mexico's Secretariat of Culture challenged the use of Shein's use of traditional Mayan designs, prompting Shein to remove them from its website. In 2018, Elsa Vare, an LA-based brand called Valet, was notified by her customers that Shein was producing identical copies of her product. In July 2023, a civil lawsuit was filed against Shein in the United States, alleging that its aggressive copyright infringement amounts to racketeering under the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, also known as RICO. The hashtag boycott Shein became popular on TikTok and Twitter. In 2018, the company experienced a data breach that compromised email addresses and passwords of 6.42 million users. Later, it was established the company lied about the number of compromised accounts and that it was actually 39 million users that not only had their emails and passwords stolen, but also their credit card information. In 2022, Shein's parent company, Zoe Top, was fined $1.9 million by United States authorities for its inadequate response to the data breach and trying to minimize the severity. In June 2020, the Shein app was banned in India due to privacy concerns. The Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology of India says, app poses threat to the sovereignty and integrity of India. Shein also sold toddler jackets that contain almost 20 times the amount of lead permitted under Health Canada safety regulations. The company has sold a red purse that contained five times the permitted amount of lead. The company was outed for producing more than 6.3 million tons of carbon dioxide every year. In July 2020, a necklace with a Sawaxi was reported and later removed from the site in response to backlash. Overall, doing research on this video has really exposed to me the horrors of Shein and what they have been doing. I feel like in the beginning, it was easy to just turn a blind eye or not um, acknowledge the fact that this company is handling and going about business absolutely the wrong way with their main focus being profit under any means necessary whether that is stealing designs whether that is stealing designs from local artists established artists businesses whether that is exploiting their workers it's like by any means necessary they want to dominate the fast fashion arena and i believe that as consumers and customers and just people period by participating and by buying into this company we are growing them we're making them think that what they're doing is okay and me i feel bad because i have done Shein hauls and i have supported Shein under the consensus of basically i cannot afford other brands or i cannot afford other things but you know i think that is just simply an excuse it really is an excuse once you understand the severity because me while doing research for this video i didn't know it was all of this 
lawsuits on top of lawsuits on top of lawsuits on top of lawsuits not just against little tiktok instagram boutiques it's the united states government it's getting banned from india it's having a whole documentary of your thing and admitting about it and then lying it's so many cases that probably haven't even been filed that they have been doing you know behind closed doors honestly this is not the hate explained this is the underbelly of shein exposed and it's actually quite disgusting you know i feel like they are exactly what every person thinks of when they think of fast fashion they think of a big major company exploiting every arena every aspect of their business for their own one percent of the company's shareholders benefit and i think as outsiders we have a responsibility to expose Shein and take steps to prevent companies like this from excelling and dominating and being something that is even perceived in any type of positive light and yeah I think Shein is beyond just oh using little products I mean you can just see in every aspect when it comes to the products they're using they're using five times the regulated amount when it comes to their labor, they have a whole documentary being released that they're having their workers work in residential buildings with no windows, with no air condition for $20. And if they that's with no mistakes, I mean, it's just unreasonable. It is it literally is slavery. It's like a the Sheehan plantation underbelly exposed. That will be the title. Not know that she and hate It's not hate It's facts and it's disgusting. And yeah. I've never been the type to just dog out a business or dog out a company, but this is just too much. Like when I was in research, the controversy was just endless pages and pages and pages with receipts, with receipts. So it's just sad, it's disgusting, and it's disappointing, you know, that you're supporting a brand thinking, oh, okay, you know, I'm not able to afford, but they're exploiting that. They're exploiting everyone, to be honest. They're exploiting the people who can't even afford. They only can afford a $3, $4 shirt. And they're using that to their advantage. So, yeah. That's my take on the Shan Plantation underbelly exposed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications and comment down below. Something insightful of what you got from this video or not. Goodbye. See you in my next one.